So hello and welcome back yet again to another World of Warcraft Starter Zone video. Um, today we are going to go through the Undead Starter Zone, which I feel like is probably going to be a fairly long one because if I remember right, during Cataclysm this zone got a major overhaul. So I feel like this is probably going to be a slightly longer video. Maybe not as long as the, the gnome one because I also feel like I'm learning a little bit more and I'm not going to make you sit and watch every last mob that I kill for every last quest. So anyway, I'm going to make a undead female hunter and we will see her in the starting zone. And here we go. Though Lady Sylvanas and her Forsaken finally took vengeance upon their hated enemy, the Lich King, their dark crusade in Northrend proved costly. Betrayed by Grand Apothecary Putris at the Battle of Wrathgate, the Forsaken's devious plague of death was unleashed upon both the Alliance and the Horde to calamitous effect. Unbeknownst to Sylvanas, Putris and his demonic ally, Veramathris, had taken control of the Undercity. As a result, the Forsaken were wrongly blamed for the traitor's atrocities. Though the Undercity was eventually retaken, Sylvanas and her followers still bear the weight of Putra's sins. Mistrusted by the other members of the Horde, the Forsaken must now prove their loyalty to the cause and redeem themselves from their supposed treachery. To this end, Sylvanas has bolstered her defenses within the Tyrus Fall Glades and readied her undead forces for any contingency. As one of the Forsaken, you must use your cunning and viciousness to slay any who would pose a threat to Sylvanas's rule, be they human, undead, or otherwise. All right, so that's a lot. That was definitely uh, a, a, a lot. So the first quest is Fresh Out of the Grave. Annette, rise Annette. Welcome back to the realm of the living. With the blessing and power of the Dark Lady, I have freed you from death's grip. You are no slave, Annette. You are free to follow whatever path you choose from here. If you choose to serve the Dark Lady Sylvanas, I recommend that you speak to Undertaker Mordo. You will find him behind me in the graveyard. All right, and I even remembered to finally turn my webcam back on again. At least it wasn't as long as sometimes, and I got the UI switched up, and let's get some auto loot going. Auto loot, thank you. And back to the game. So here we go. Oh, some of these people do not look happy to be returned to life. Oh, and really quick, so I, I definitely made me a little bit green, a little bit rotting, and a little bit like I've maybe been in the, uh, the grave for a while. Speak quickly. Hello there. You must be Annette? Beware. Funicello, obviously. I'm pleased to see that you're up and walking around, Annette. You have held up nicely, especially after being dead for so long. Others weren't as lucky. If you wouldn't mind, I need you to fetch my embalming fluid and some twine to stitch up these bodies. You'll find them on the Shadow Grave, the building behind me. Here, Darnell will join you. He knows the way. Thanks, Darnell. Let's go find some embalming fluid. I see it. Huzzah. I don't think Darnell was needed. Embalming fluid. We got some thick twine. Nice, uh, nice little tomb. Oh, Darnell's not very bright, is he? He's a little bit lost. 
you know what? I think we're just going to leave him down there and go turn in this quest. <laughs> I think we lost Arnell. Hopefully we didn't need him. Trust no exactly what I needed. You'll be an asset. You know, word has it you were quite the hunter in your previous life. Perhaps I should assign you to more exacting tasks. The Volcare raise hundreds of corpses every day. Agatha raised you just a few moments ago. Not all are as lucky as you. Some maintain their free will, but they live in constant fear and confusion. They usually run off into the woods, cowering at their own reflections. Others lose their mind completely, shambling about aimlessly. They often turn to violence and must be destroyed. This is your task, Annette. Destroy them, our former brothers and sisters, though they might be. Alrighty. Looks like we have a couple more quests over here as well. Or just one more. Caretaker... Calice. I'm listening. King, peasant, or hunter. I don't care what you were before. I just need someone with a working tongue. Being raised from the dead is strenuous. Not everyone copes with it as well as you did. In particular, there are three newly raised undead who are having trouble coping. I want you to find them and talk to them. It might be that they just need someone they can relate with. You'll find them in the graveyard. And these, actually one of them is a very important lore character, so we will go and do that along with killing some undead. So... Alright, we got that whole undead killing out of the way. Let's go talk with some people. Here we have Valdred Moray. He seems to be kneeling by his grave. What, is what? What's going on? Who are you? What happened to me? Don't you remember? You died. I died? Yes, you're right. I died. It was an orc. He cut off my hands and he left me to die. Valdred looks at his hands. These aren't my hands! These aren't my hands! Calm down, Valdred. Undertaker Mordo, Mordo probably sewed some new ones on for you. Valdred looks back at his hands. I suppose this is my fate, then. Ha! Part of the undead army. Somehow I never considered that I might end up fighting for the Forsaken. He looks back to you. What do I do now? You talk to Undertaker Mordo. He'll tell you what to do. That's all I know. Alright, that's one. I love the Forsaken because their stories are kind of sad. We're going to save Lillian Voss for last. Marshal Redpath. That better be good? Stand back, monster. You want to fight? Because I'll fight you. I'll fight any one of you. Do you hear me? I'm not here to fight. I've only been asked to speak with you. Oh, really? Fine. I don't want to join you, and you're Forsaken. Maybe I'll find my, start my own Forsaken. Maybe I'll invent Forsaken with elbows. <laughs> you are free to do whatever you like. Ah, uh, he definitely, definitely is not coping well. I don't think I'd cope well either. And Lillian. My blade stays sharp. Get away from me, you abomination. I'm not an abomination. I'm simply undead. I, I just want to speak with you. The undead are a taint upon Azeroth. Every one of you deserves to be destroyed. Um, Lillian, do you not realize you are one yourself? No, you're lying. My father will protect me. And off she goes. Alright, well, I guess we have to turn a couple of these quests in, and it looks like there might be a quest underground somewhere. Alright, not even the power of the Valkyr was enough to save them. They were doomed from the beginning. I've obtained some equipment for you. Victory Thanks! I could use a, a nice cloak. And turning in the second one. And you, uh... You've done well. As you can see, not all of us have resigned, are resigned to our fates. 
I'm glad to see that you are at least willing to work. Valdred will be a valuable asset to the Forsaken. As for the other two, there's not much we can do. We can't force them to join us. Beyond the Graves. Darnell tells me that the two of you have already met. That's good, because I'm sending you into Death Knell. Your work is done here. Speak with Death Guard Saltain in Death Knell to the north. He'll tell you more of what you need to know. All right, we can do that. All right, we have made it into town. There is the Death Guard. Let's see what he has to say. The Valkyr have been really busy resurrecting you newbies lately. I've already seen a couple dozen new bodies run down that hill since this morning. You, however, are the most promising hunter I've seen. Thanks. We've been shipping in dead bodies from Silverpine, Hillsbred, hell, anywhere we can get them from. We can't, however, afford to ignore the bodies that are sitting right at our front door. The last vestiges of the Scarlet Crusade roam here in Tiras Fall Glades. While we've managed to push them from Death Knell, several of their bodies litter the buildings to the north and east. Go find them. And bring Darnell with you. He looks strong enough to carry some corpses. All right, we can do that. Let's also see what the quest inside is. Undead everywhere. Shadow Priest Sarvis. He says, if you are going to be an asset to the Forsaken, you need to learn how to fight. And there's no better target than the Scourge minions that continue to pester us. The wretched ghouls and rattlecage skeletons that roam the north and east are former troopers of the fallen Scourge. They should prove to be an even match for a fledgling like you. Don't tarry. When you're done, speak to me again. Alright, we can do this. There's a rattle cage skeleton. We'll just, we'll record the first of each one that we do and then we'll record the turn in. Ghouls and skeletons and some uh, scarlet corpses. There you go. Oh good, Darnell will be useful. I'm thinking poor Darnell is uh, a little overburdened Good thing that was the last one. Let's go turn these in. Poor dude. He's just got so many bodies piled on him. Great work, Annette. I knew you weren't useless. Here, take one of these. We have piles of them sitting around. Piles of what money? Works for me. All right. Nice, we've got corpses everywhere. Gotta love it. And... What now? You're growing in strength. I've seen your type before. You'll be moving out of Death Knell and on to greater things before long. Just be sure that you don't lose sight of where you started. And we got a nice new shirt. Yay! Now, why don't you go speak with my novice? She serves me and we'll have some new tasks. I, I haven't got may the dark lady day. watch over you. Dark lady, watch Earlier, over you. I saw a young forsaken woman running towards the old inn. She was screaming for her life, pleading to be taken home. Not all of us are as resolute as others. Even so, we must accept our fate as undead if we're to rise up against those that would put us down. Take my hand mirror and show it to the young woman. She needs to see what she is and join us in our cause. Besides, we can use all the bodies we can get. All right, we've got to go see if we can show Lillian that she's a Forsaken. And thankfully, you can tell this used to be a human town because everything kind of looks very human in here. Just a little rotted. These poor people. Oh, there's a panda in here. She does not seem all that happy. She's like, why am I here? Oh, they, they're trying to feed her. I'm not sure undead food is what you really want. All right, there is poor Lillian. Hi, Lillian. Get away from me, you monster. 
Don't look at me. I'm hideous. You're, you're not hideous, Lillian. You're one of us. Here, look in this mirror. See for yourself. Oh, she didn't seem to be all that happy about that. You don't understand. I can't be undead. Not me. Not now. I, I feel like she's definitely not coming to grips with her undeath. And she is now hiding in a corner. I guess we'll probably have to visit with her again. We'll go let them know that she's, she's not accepting this. You say she ran away? What a shame. Very well. As long as she's maintained her free will, there's hope. I can keep you busy here in town all week, but you seem to be more the fighting type. Yeah, you'll do just fine. I'd like you to go talk to Executor Arin. Follow the path north out of Death Knell. You'll find him, not far past the barricades. And we're off. Also, if we can just find an animal, we can now have a pet. What do we have here? A new hunter, ready for battle? First of all, look at your armor. You're a mess. I'd like you to stay in one piece, and I have no doubt that you do. Also, perhaps I can help. If you can gather some paws and wings from the wolves and bats nearby, maybe I'll find armor for you. You'll find them to the north and west. Awesome. That also means that we can get a pet. We just have to look around. The question is, do I want a bat or do I want a wolf? I think I want a bat. Can I tame a bat? Let's go see. Hello, Mr. Bat. Would you like to be my friend? All right, with that taken care of, I'm gonna do a little hunting and we will be back at the turn-in. All right, we have gotten Paws and claws. I'm not sure exactly what sort of armor we're going to make out of paws and claws, but I guess we'll find out. It will be smelly armor, but then again, we're undead. Alright. Thank you. This armor should help you. Hopefully it'll do you more good than the last one who wore it. We made a belt out of paws and claws. One of our greatest struggles is obtaining the natural resources we need to survive. Gold was scarce in Lordaeron, even in the height of the Alliance's power so many years ago. There's a gold mine to the west that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold from the mine, but we can't very well get it while spiders are all in there. I've not much manpower to commit to the task, but we just have to do it little by little. Get up there, see what you can do. All right, looks like we're killing spiders. Up ahead is our very last young Nightweb spider. You can definitely tell we are in the spider territory at the moment. Now we just need to get some full-grown ones. And it looks like they are just up ahead in this scary-looking mine. Again, they're not aggressive, though, so I guess that's good. They are big, though. Big, scary spiders. What do you mean, evade? That's rude. And the last spider is down. Yay, now we can go turn this in. Speak quickly. Well, it's a start. It'll take a few weeks or months to clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to go down there with torches to burn away the webs. You've done your duty well. Thank you, I have. While you were inside that cave, your big friend Darnell came by with some alarming news. Since the Valkyr arrived, we've seen more and more undead that choose not to join our forces under the banner of the Dark Lady. They've been gathering at a small camp here in the valley, and now they've organized. They plan to attack Death Knell. Darnell is just down the road, to the east. Be careful. While those undead aren't completely brainless, they're still not quite right in the head. Alright, let's go find Darnell. 
And there is our large friend. What now? Our Annette, you made it. You see those tents up there? That's where we're headed. The battle's probably already started. Remember. While you were taking care of matters for the Executor Aaron, I went off an assignment of my own. Shadow Priest Sarvis asked me to peek in on the Rot Brain camp. There's a reason why they're called the Rot Brains. Their leader goes by the name of Marshall Redpath, and he's an absolute beast. Look, the attack is starting. You're better in combat than I am. Get in there and help out. Uh, we have to go kill Marshall Redpath and eight of his rot brain undead. You know, I think the reason that I never really played undead very much is their story is probably the saddest in World of Warcraft. Just because they were human and they they were never accepted by the Alliance. I honestly feel like they have possibly the most reason to hate the Alliance, even though I feel like they they actually just want a lot more acceptance than they've ever gotten. It's sad. And I'm not sure if we'll see the end of Lillian Voss's campaign in, uh, in the starter area or not. I know it's, um, it's a lot of people's very, very favorite campaign. Ooh, he is definitely good. Definitely a warrior. Ow, ow. Mr. Bat, couldn't you help me out a little bit more? All right. Looks like we have just got a couple more of these to kill. Don't tell me you're out of range. But yeah, I, I think I don't play Forsaken because I feel the sorriest for them. Even Sylvanas, up until they really did her dirty was always one of my favorite lore characters. But that's just me. Looks like we are turning it back into Shadow Priest Sarvis. Being born again under the power of a Valkyr is a strenuous process. Many don't survive the shock, turning into zombies or ghouls. Others retain just enough humanity to seem normal on the outside, but they're sick inside. We should have slain those rot brains the day they were raised. As for you, you're a strong hunter. I knew you'd do well. You'll be headed out of Death Knell soon. He's giving me a piece of paper. Oh, <laughs> and that's got Darnell's got some new gear. They're making me into a Death Guard. Can you believe it? No, I actually can't, Darnell. I'll be staying here. If things work out, who knows? Maybe I'll get to meet the Dark Lady. How about you? I've heard Sarvis is going to send you off to Calston Estate. Big assignment. Well, won't hold you up. Been a pleasure. Hope our paths cross again soon. See you later, Darnell. These will need to be taken to my field agent, the Death Guard Simmer. This information contains the whereabouts of the last few holdouts from the Scarlet Crusade. We will destroy these Crusaders once and for all. And I have a feeling that you will be instrumental. Take the road north out of Death Knell. Soon after entering Tiras Fall proper, you'll see a large manse. Simmers inside. Alright. Well, let's go on. I don't know if this is actually still considered starter zone or not but i think we'll do it uh nope definitely that was our last quest a little bit sad but if at some point anybody ever wants me to do the rest of the lillian voss chain i would be more than happy to do it because it is a it's a sad story but it, it's, in its own way, a good story. Lillian is a very good lore character. But I think that is actually it for this starter zone. So, from me and Annette, 
I guess that's going to be it. Our next... What is our next one? Torin. So, tomorrow? I think it'll be tomorrow, if it's not a Wild Wednesday. No, tomorrow we're going to be doing... We're going to be touring Elwyn Forest with my other character, Beryl. And then Thursday, we will be back doing another starter zone. We'll be doing the Torin starter zone. But until then, thank you so much for joining me. And uh, see you later. Have a great night.